Hello dear students, greetings of the day. I, Muhammad Zee Shan, welcome you to the online classes of Bloomingbird Squad School, Sambal. Today we are going to have the second lecture of our chapter, the legislature. Uh, in last lecture, we have studied about the upper house. So we were discussing that ke, there are 250 members in the upper house or Rajya Sabha and 238 members are elected indirectly by MLAs and 12 members are appoint, uh, are nominated by president belonging to these four fields, science, literature, art and social science. And then we were supposed to study about the qualification. So a person should be an Indian citizen and he should be 30 years or above. He should be 30 years old or above and he should be a registered voter. Then this, this was the qualification for Rajya Sabha. In case of Lok Sabha, the age was 25 years. In Lok Sabha, the qualification for uh, the age qualification for Rajya Sabha is 30 years, five years more than the Lok Sabha. Now, tenure. What is the tenure or term for Lok Sabha? It is five years. And what is the term for Rajya Sabha member? It is six year. I am saying term six years. This term is for Rajya Sabha member, not Rajya Sabha. Rajya Sabha never dissolve. Okay, Rajya Sabha never dissolve. It remains always there. Okay, whereas Lok Sabha dissolves after five years. So the term for Lok Sabha as well as its member is five years, not more than that. But here the term for upper house is unlimited. And the term of a member of upper house is six years, right? After six years, one member did retire. So what happens here? It never dissolves. Why it never dissolves? Because uh, one third of its total member get retired after two uh, every second year. One third of its member get retired every second year. And the same year, same number of candidates are appointed new candidates are appointed so suppose if uh, there were uh, 250 members or suppose if there were for the sake of convenience we are taking just example there were 200 uh, okay so there were 240 members okay for example Right, so maximum is 250, but in Rajya Sabha there were 240. Right, maximum number. The what is the strength of Rajya Sabha? It should be two, not more than 250. Okay, maximum 250. Right, but suppose if few members were not appointed at a time, uh, total strength is 240. You can say or less. Okay, or so example, just take 240 members are there. So one third is 80. One third is 80. Right. So what will happen? 80 members will retire. Okay. These 80 members, some of the oldest member will complete their term in 2020. Right. And then what will happen in 2020 only new 80 members will be elected. Okay. Likewise, then in 2022, another 80 members, okay, will be retired and same number of members will be elected. Likewise, in 2024, another 80 members will get retired and new 80 members will be elected. So, one third members of this upper house get retired and elected every second year. Every second year. Okay. So, suppose 80 members were getting retired in 2020, right? And same number of members, new members, okay. Uh, 80 new people were elected to those seats okay in 2020 only right suppose these were the 80 seats okay so the members old members get retired okay from here getting or not now new members will come here okay in 2020 these members are coming okay then what will happen their term will be of six years so in 2026, 
they will get retired in 2026 those who are coming here they will get retired okay so these will get retired here right and in 2026 more 80 members will be elected and those members will be retired after six years in 2032 okay so likewise one member is having a term of six years right and they are one third members are elected every second year so like this every second year one third members get retired okay so this uh, rajya sabha never dissolve okay there will you will find some members of rajya sabha always there in rajya sabha okay it will never dissolve whereas in lok sabha all members okay 545 all members are elected same time okay are elected same time whereas here one third members were elected okay total seats 250 250 by three members will be elected in 2020 250 by three members will be elected after two years in 2022 okay so here elections uh, means all seats are not being filled, uh, filled at one time okay so that is why here uh, one third members are appointed different different years okay after two years getting or not so uh there will be what this like this they this upper house will always be in functioning whereas they all were elected same time okay suppose in 2019 these members were for 545 members were elected okay so their term will complete in 2024 and these all members will be retired or you can say dissolved okay and this entire lok sabha will be dissolved and again general elections will take place and new lok sabha will be formed okay getting it out so it can dissolve but it will never dissolve why because elections on all seats are not con being contested uh, at one time okay it is contested three times you can say after every second year right so after every second year one third members get retired and after every second year one third members get nominated so that is why this house is called permanent house which house permanent house okay so this we have studied now we will study about the functions and powers of rajya sabha and lok sabha okay seven minutes over powers and functions of first we will study relationship between lok sabha and rajya sabha so uh, the constitution of india prescribes an equal status and i uh, please open your notes as well as your book right so i have written there the constitution of india prescribes an equal status and coordination based role to both the houses of the parliament so first we are having co equal powers of the lok sabha what is the meaning of co-equal powers? Co-equal powers means that the powers which are shared by Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha equally. Okay. In the Rajya Sabha and Lok Sabha are having uh, equal powers. Okay. Like suppose they both participate in election of in election of president as well as vice president. So this is the equal power okay they both will participate in election of president as well as vice president and uh, even in the removal of uh, president and vice president removal of president and vice president is called impeachment impeachment so they both will participate in the impeachment of president and vice president okay removal of president the process of removing president from his seat is called impeachment so they both participate there and both appears both approve constitutional amendments okay so if amendment or change is is supposed to be made in the constitution for that one bill is presented and the both houses approve the bill and make it a law that i have already told you 
then both can discuss and criticize the policies and activities of the executive government okay rajya sabha and lok sabha right they can criticize the policies of government okay the government which is in the power which is having maximum number of seats in lok sabha okay and has formed its council of minister okay and is responsible for making law for making policies so if that government is not having uh, welfare policies or some policy is not in uh, favor of uh, some particular section like uh, nowadays there is a controversy on farmers bill okay new bill is being brought on which which is not it, it is said that okay, it is not in the favor of farmers some people are saying okay so on even uh, the people those who are present in rajya sabha and lok sabha parliamentarians okay mp of rajya sabha mp of lok sabha they can criticize the policy that policy of the government okay like uh, har simrat kaur has given uh, her resignation okay recently if you have seen in the newspaper or tv okay because of the that uh, controversial farmer bill right so means other parliamentarians also they have right to criticize the policy of the government that we have studied now uh, special powers of lok sabha there are some powers okay which are given to only lok sabha those are called special powers okay those powers are not given to rajya sabha right so these are the special powers so what are the special powers of lok sabha special powers of lok sabha so what are these first is money bill okay money bill now what is that see a bill is of two types bill is of two type one is ordinary bill another is money bill and what is bill bill is a proposal or draft of a proposal or draft of a law to be law draft of to be law right means if we want to make a law right for that if the proposal for that or a draft of to be law right that is called a bill right if suppose the voting uh, for voting the age limit is 18 years a person should be 18 years old right and if government or people of india right if government want to change it okay if, he, if government want to make a law that okay, the voting age should be uplifted it should be 21 years right so for that they will write these all things in a proper uh, manner that will be called draft okay or proposal and that will be presented in rajya sabha and in lok sabha right and from both the houses it will be passed then it will become a law right and before becoming a law a law before becoming a law is called a bill right so we are having two types of bill one is bill ordinary bill ordinary bill means a bill in which money is not involved right that is called ordinary bill it is supposed to be passed by both by uh, rajya sabha also and by lok sabha also by lok sabha also and by rajya sabha also if it is not getting passed by either of the house either by lok sabha or rajya sabha then what will happen that bill will not become a law if it is getting passed by rajya sabha but not getting passed by uh, lok sabha then a bill will not become a law it will not become a law right on the other hand if it is getting passed by rajya sabha also and by lok sabha also right then that bill will be changed into a law right that will become a law clear then another is money bill money bill any proposal which is in which is uh, having which is related to money okay so that is called money bill like suppose if government want to uh, bring some new uh, tax system okay or anything which is getting which is which is involving money okay that called that is called money bill right so money bill is supposed to be passed only by lok sabha not by rajya sabha okay 
if any bill is here like suppose if they want to introduce a new tax okay for that they will bring a uh, bill okay and that will be the, as that bill is involving what money taxes money right so that will be called money bill and that is supposed to be passed only by lok sabha if it is getting passed by lok sabha then that bill will become law right in this rajya sabha has no role what rajya sabha can do rajya sabha can uh, means after getting passed a bill from lok sabha that is sent to rajya sabha okay just for formality and rajya sabha will look over it okay and uh, it can hold that bill for maximum 14 days how many days 14 days rajya sabha rajya sabha can hold a money bill for maximum 14 days and after that it will has to give it back to the lok sabha and lok sabha in lok sabha voting will take place and it will be passed rajya sabha has nothing to do with that okay rajya sabha can give only suggestions that you can make uh, these these changes in this in this bill right and it will be up to lok sabha whether to accept those suggestions or not or reject those suggestions okay so that is the difference between money bill and ordinary bill if a bill is ordinary it should be passed by both the houses if a bill is money bill then it is supposed to be passed only by lok sabha rajya sabha can only keep it just for maximum can delay it just for maximum 14 days and after that it is it has to give it back to the lok sabha right rajya sabha can give its suggestions but it will be up to lok sabha whether to accept the suggestions or reject the suggestions let me check the length of the video uh, it is 17 minutes okay in more time minutes i will try to finish the syllabus then we are having no confidence motion right so no confidence motion can be passed only in lok sabha no confidence motion so you must have heard about avishwas prastav avishwas prastav okay in newspaper right so that is no confidence motion and what actually no confidence motion is that i am telling you see general election takes place okay general elections takes place every year like in 2019 general election took place right in that uh, these elections were conducted for what for lok sabha we also called it lok sabha elections general elections or lok sabha elections right so in this 545 members were elected 45 or 43 members were elected okay so on these many seats elections were conducted okay and a party which called bjp right that got the maximum number of seats more than 300 300 plus right so any party which is getting majority of seats right that party is called winning party right and that party will be like suppose if it is uh, our parliament our parliament is bicameral 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 means it is having two houses by cameral having two houses okay how two houses this is the feature of our parliament it is having two houses one house is what lok sabha or which is called upper house sorry lower house and another is upper house or rajya sabha so this general elections are taking place for this lok sabha right and in this if uh, these are the total members suppose so 
any bill which is supposed to be passed by lok sabha right needs majority and as this party has got majority right so whichever bill is getting presented by this party okay suppose this is bjp right if any bill which is getting proposed by this these many people they are in majority right so that will be passed so it means that their will will prevail in lok sabha right or any party which is having majority in lok sabha their will 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 means uh, whatever they want okay will prevail prevail means that will be done okay in uh, lok sabha clear so it means that ke they will form their government right it means as their will will prevail so they will do the things means most of we people are living in india and we are having a form of government which is democracy democracy means a rule of people right so the we people we are ruling ourselves okay so entire country is having around 1.2 billion population right among 1.2 billion around half or 40% of that will be the voters okay so these many people uh, will rule themselves adults will rule themselves okay so suppose if majority of people want that ke okay, bjp should rule on behalf of them so bjp will rule right and how it will be decided ke okay, which party will rule the party which is getting maximum number of seats in lok sabha okay it means ke okay, maximum people of india maximum citizens of india want that party to rule in india on behalf of them okay that is the meaning of democracy clear so so it means here they maximum seats are obtained by bjp okay so they will form the government right their pm will be there narendra modi ji right and one council of minister will be there clear so this will be executive right and they will form the policies various policies right and uh, whatever they will want they will do in legislature also because they are in majority their bills will be easily get passed okay and uh, their policies they will be responsible for the execution of those policies which they are framing okay so like this this will take place uh now why they are having this all things because they are having majority majority of seats in lok sabha why they are having majority because all these members are of bjp right and no member is revolting against them no member is turning against them they all are favoring each other right they all are having confidence in each other okay but the day when suppose around uh, 50 members right 50 members of bjp turn hostile or uh, opposite to the bjp right they they leave bjp or they do something else they start favoring congress party right then what will happen their strength will be reduced and they will not be in majority 300 minus 50 will be 250 right and 250 is uh, half of 500 but we are strength is 545 so it should be around 273 or 270 uh, around 273 right so uh, means they their uh, majority is uh, lacking by two, uh, 23 seats okay so at the time when this will happen right so it means ke they will have to uh, leave the government okay means that you must have understood now let me tell you what is no confidence motion no confidence motion is when uh, suppose if if this motion is passed in lok sabha it says that we are not having uh, confidence in bjp government okay then what will happen then the voting will take place okay voting will take place and if the bjp is able to get majority of votes okay majority means total strength total strength divided by 2 plus 1 if total strength is uh, 545 divided by 2 plus 1 so it will be how much 22s are 4 27s are 14 22s are 4.5 
and plus 1 right to means 273.5 or 274 seats okay so bjp should have 274 seats 274 members supporting them okay so voting will take place and if in counting bjp is having just support of 250 members okay then what will happen the confidence motion will stand passed and this entire government will have to resign okay pm will resign council of ministers will resign right and another party which is congress okay congress and plus other parties they will be asked to prove their majority in lok sabha if they are able to prove that they are having support of 274 plus candidates okay then they will form their government and if even they are not able to prove neither bjp nor congress they are able to prove that they are having majority okay uh, then what will happen then again elections will be conducted okay and whichever party which is having these many seats will form their government okay so no confidence is a vishwas prastav right when it is passed then what will happen it, it says that okay, we are not having confidence in the government who is saying that all parliamentarians mps are saying that okay, we are not having uh, confidence in the government now if maximum number of parliamentarians are not having confidence in the government then the government will have to resign if like this their opponents are saying okay and the, the people those who are saying we are not having confidence in the government is just two three four five six seven hundred okay but still majority of parliamentarians is with bjp suppose if in voting they were getting around 300 plus okay support of 300 plus uh, candidates okay or parliamentarian then this no confidence no confidence motion will be will not stand past okay it will not stand past will not stand past okay it will be failed you can say getting or not <coughs> so that is no confidence motion i hope you would have understood that <coughs> in class 10 we will study about this in detail then after that we are having special powers of Rajya Sabha only Rajya Sabha can declare a subject of state a subject of national importance and can ask <coughs> Lok Sabha to make laws on it okay so now we are studying special powers of Rajya Sabha So in your notes, it is written only Rajya Sabha can declare a subject of state list to be of national importance and ask Lok Sabha to legislate on that. What does that mean? Let me check the length of the video first. 28 minutes. Okay. So what is that? <clears throat> subject list. First of all, you should understand what is the meaning of subject list. So there are three lists, right? Uh, first is union list. Then second is state list. And then con current list, right? In union list, there are 97 subjects number of subjects may be increased or decreased okay from time to time but you have to just remember this thing and state 66 subjects and concurrent 47 subjects now you must be wondering sir what is subject history civil geography no right subject means the works the area of work field of work right when government is formed now there are responsibilities okay two governments are there one government is union government which government union government and another is state government i have told you state government right state government clear so states are 
विद इन इंडिया ओनली राइट वन इज फॉर वन वन गवर्नमेंट इज फॉर एंटायर कंट्री एंड वन इज फॉर सम पर्टिकुलर पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री दैट इज स्टेट गवर्नमेंट राइट सो नाउ देयर देयर पावर शुड बी डिवाइडेड देयर पावर शुड बी डिवाइडेड ओके सो दैट डिवीजन ऑफ पावर इज कॉल्ड इज रिटर्न इन लिस्ट ओके इन अ लिस्ट वन टू थ्री लिस्ट आर देयर सो द लिस्ट इन व्हिच द पावर्स और द एरियाज और फील्ड ऑफ वर्किंग ऑफ यूनियन गवर्नमेंट इज रिटर्न दैट इज कॉल्ड यूनियन लिस्ट एंड a list in which the fields or areas of functioning of state government is written that is called state list okay powers of state government okay then one is there on which both both can legislate both can make laws okay so some subjects are there on which even state government as well as concurrent oh, sorry state government as well as union government both can make laws okay though that list is called concurrent list okay so like suppose one work is of defense theek hai defense to protect our country from the foreign invasion right from enemy's attack right so who will look after that whether the state will look after that or union will look after that okay so it is written ke union government will look after that all the works all the policies all the laws which are associated with defense okay will be made by union government okay by central government and likewise suppose agriculture is there okay this is the another field agriculture so any law any policy which is uh, associated with agriculture will be made by what state getting or all the policy can be made by uh, union union government also but i am thinking about legislature uh, means to form laws right so only state government will form laws on this clear that is state list then concurrent list some subjects may be there on which either union or state both governments can make laws okay and there may be some new emerging uh subjects may also there okay which is neither in this list nor in this nor in this okay which is not in either of the three list right then that type of subject is called residual subject residual subject okay and this power to legislate on residual subjects goes to union government okay union government will legislate on the residual 